Okay. God, that expression is perfect. I mean, okay. So, <clears throat> if you think UFOs and there's no such thing as a UFO or a UAP, because they're all identified, Navy Intelligence and DARPA knows exactly who's who. But, so, you're an idiot who thinks extraterrestrials, quote-unquote, are demons. All right. The biggest debate at the Daily Wire is not over gender, it's not over the 2024 race, and it's not over immigration. Dude, that's all you guys ever fucking talk about on the Daily Wire. The biggest debate. Aliens. Aliens. Some people, like my colleague Matt Walsh, say that aliens are real. E they are. T comes down, abducts people, prowls around, little green men. You know, of all the documented encounters people have had with uh, non-terrestrial beings, I don't think anybody has ever come in contact with a quote-unquote little green man. Um, I mean, I guess the closest thing to that description would be Nocturne, but that is like exceedingly rare. <laughs> and some people are correct, such as yours truly, Observes that ET is fake. It's not real. No, dude, you are incorrect. Because your age and IQ are the same number. We are not alone in the universe, but as far as corporeal beings go with rational souls, we are alone. And that. Dude, there's over a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. There's over 100 billion galaxies in the known universe. Do you really think we're it? How little you think of our creator. When people see these unidentified flying objects, and when they think they encounter the little green men, they're most likely just talking to demons. And No, they're most likely talking to extraterrestrial, physical, corporeal beings. Now, do you really think a non- physical entity would leave behind a crashed vehicle. What do you think all those crash retrievals come from, huh? What do you think, what the fuck do we think we've been back engineering for nearly a century from the Roswell crash? It's obviously physical. Aliens. Some people like my colleague Matt Walsh, say that aliens are real. Why the fuck did it skip? They are moderns. They're modern secular libs. And alien, they're most likely just talking to demons. And it's amazing. People make fun of me for this. And justifiably so. And But the reason people make fun of me for this point of view is because they are moderns. They're modern secular libs. And aliens are... They're just demons for... No, dude. The reason why people make fun of you is because they're a lot smarter than you. Okay? <laughs> That's the reason why. You are obviously not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Modern lib people who can't imagine that there's such a thing as metaphysical reality. So it's for people... Uh, modern lib people um, think there's no such thing as metaspiritual. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Everything outside of your narrow, limited concept of spirituality, okay, comes from, quote-unquote, the left, all right? The whole New Age thing, the I Ching, Reiki, you know, neo-paganism. You rarely ever find those beliefs on the right. Uh, okay, so you really, yeah, I don't know, pull your head out of your ass. <laughs> People who are materialists, who 
who think that everything that's real has to be flesh and blood, which obviously isn't true. Uh, you know, uh, dude, anything that's not flesh and blood that is real, like I don't know, our physical reality, like the building I live in, the clothes I'm wearing, your Wi-Fi signal, that's not made out of flesh. The fuck are you talking about? Some of the most important things in life are not material. Hopes, dreams, love, mathematics. You know, there are plenty of things that are metaphysic, the moral order. But we have convinced ourselves in this unsophisticated day and age that it's all got to be physical. And so... What do you mean unsophisticated day and age? <laughs> are you... Okay. <laughs> it seems like you're living in the land of, of opposites. Oh. So even the celestial beings have to be physical. They can't be uh, merely spiritual. They are. They're called extraterrestrials. Now, there's a fella by the name of Luis Elizondo. This is reported by the New York Post. Though I got to give a hat tip to Popehead here, a great Substack writer and tweeter who called my attention to this. Louis, Louis Elizondo is a former intelligence officer with the Department of Defense. He claims he was the uh, director of AATIP, the Pentagon's UFO program from 2010 to 2017. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid has defended this guy and said he actually... Not the sharpest knife in the drawer. ...was pretty prominent in the government working on these things. Here's what he had to say. this i had one i remember the conversation very well um this is a person i respected tremendously very very senior person he's told me he said Lou, i want you to stop stop doing this i said okay sir i i, I certainly can but may I ask why and he says well we already know what it is now at that moment i i that's why you investigate this shit Honestly, thought maybe it was our own technology I was running up against. And nine times out of ten, you'd actually be right about that. Some super uber secret sap, and uh, you know they were telling me to stop. And I said, "Okay, sir. So, so it's ours." And he said, "No, that's not what I'm saying." And he said, uh, "He asked me point blank, have you read your Bible lately?'" And I wasn't quite sure where he was going with that. I said, "Well, sir, I." I Okay, the Bible. The all right, you got the cult of Abraham. All right, and let me say the people of the book. The book is designed to keep you separate, separated from God, and filling your head with such bullshit like this. That's the whole point of it. I. I think I know what it says. What where are you going with this? And he said, Well, then you would know that these things are, are demonic and we should not be. Thinking. No, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And uh I, I he was he wasn't kidding me, but that's exactly how, how he felt. So this is a Pentagon. And, this is a DO, Department of Defense official. Uh with a rather low IQ. And they probably place him specifically in that position for that exact reason. <laughs> All right. It seems to me like putting these two idiots in such a project is part of the cover up of, of it. Saying stop looking at UFOs because they're demonic. Correct. Correct. Incorrect. Dude's Age and IQ are the same number. Correct. Not only is this senior, apparently respectable Pentagon official who is so admirable that one of the guys who would... Yeah, one guy compared to all the testimony from actual credible people who claim the exact opposite. And you got to ask yourselves this, okay? If you think you're demons, well, demons cannot exist without angels. It ever occurred to you that some of these uh, beings are angelic? I mean, if you look at the uh, physical description of the human variant species, you know, like the Pleiadians, uh, a.k.a. the Nordics, 
they sure as fuck matched the uh, classic imagery of an angel. You know, <laughs> of course, you just have to think because it's not in the Bible, it must be of the devil. Very limited thinking, which is the purpose of the opiate of the masses. It's not, like I said, that shit is not designed to bring you closer to God. It's designed to keep you separate from God. Was running the UFO office there, really looked up to this guy. But it's correct in that that's obviously what these things are. Now, when you want to... Obviously, dude... Based on what? That's the opinion of one guy, which contradicts the of uh, the the very credible testimony of literally thousands of other people who said yes, these beings are physical. All right. So that that doesn't prove shit. Fight off terrestrial things. Like, uh, I don't know, uh, unlit cigars and, uh, you know, little vermin and uh, charcoal. You what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Let me go check out Grillblazer. Right now, go to grillblazer.com slash... I don't think so. Yeah, let's get past this. Look how much this video he's using to sell shit. All right. The... Aliens are demonic. Now, what's interesting is this guy in the... No, they are not. Then again, I guess if you came face-to-face -face with an alpha draconian, you'd definitely come to that conclusion. Ever heard of a cargo cult? You know... <sighs> I can go into that, but... This interview from a couple of years ago that not a lot of people seem to have found. Uh, this guy seems to disagree with the respected, more senior Pentagon official who said, this stuff's demonic, we shouldn't be looking into it. And this guy says, no, we've got to look into it. We've got to go get all the data. We've got to probe this stuff. We've got to find out what's really going on. Exactly. And my question is, why? Why do we have to do that? Curiosity. It's more than curiosity. All right. One... <laughs> the reason why we do it is because we back engineer their fucking technology. All right. And where do you think we got lasers, integrated circuits, UV night vision, fiber optics, and Velcro from? Hmm? <laughs> not from spirits. City is not a virtue. Why should we do that? There is. Yeah, which goes with the whole. You know, don't look into it. You know, the reason why the book forbids things like remote viewing and divination because those are God-given abilities. And we use those God-given abilities, we can discover the truth. Which is the reason why that shit's forbidden because the book doesn't come from the creator, it comes from his adversary. Congratulations, you stupid Bible thumper, you're doing the bidding of Satan. More in heaven and earth, the ratio than is dreamt of in our philosophy, and certainly the desiccated modern philosophy that ignores uh, metaphysical things. But why? Why are we going to do this? If, if there were, which there is not, a super race of extremely intelligent ET that are coming and they can mess with us and they can... Well, first off, they're not that super... They're not that intelligent. Well, there are a few. But that's one of the things that people don't understand. It's like, we've been back engineering that shit. Our own technology is way more advanced than some of the ETs out there now. Okay? Um, so... That's uh, well, that's pretty common misinformation. So, robust and they can cross the galaxy and they can go faster than the speed of lightning and do all this crazy stuff. Dude, and got news flash for you. We can do most of that stuff because we have their shit back engineered. Their technology is so much more advanced than ours is. It's not. 
then we're not going to beat them. We have been beating them since the 70s. Since the 1950s, actually, we've been beating them. You know, that'd be like a squirrel trying to beat an army of human beings. I mean, we're just, if we're that much stupider than these things, then we're obviously not going to beat them. We're not. We're actually more intelligent than they are. <laughs> if they're demons, then we should want nothing to do with them. They're not demons. Only an idiot would think they're demons. C.S. Lewis had a good bit on demons, which is, he said, that you, the right attitude toward demons is that you you should know that they exist, because there, there is spiritual reality. We we are body and soul. We're hylomorphic yeah. composite beings with a rational soul. That's why we have an appetite. We have to eat food. That has nothing to do with the soul. We can drink water to sustain ourselves. Man does not live by bread alone, and we can use our abstract reason and moral judgment to think of things like um, justice or art or culture or opera. What the fuck does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Right. We can, we can do both those things. Certain beings are purely physical. They don't have a rational soul, like a rock. A rock is not a being. It's an inanimate object. Even the animals, they don't they don't have abstract reason. We don't put them on trial. We don't put a dog on trial when he bites you. Okay, that's why. And then on the other side of things. No, you just put the dog down and arrest the owner. There are beings that are purely physical. I ideas are physical. No, ideas are not physical. And angels and demons are physical too. And no. Uh the <laughs> You just said they're not. Okay, you just contradicted your opening statement. Everyone has known this for all of history until modern Western liberal secular people. And no, everybody's deluded into that until people's collective intelligence became strong enough to see through that shit. People have grown up. They're maturing. They're evolving beyond that shit. You and your ilk are just a fucking throwback. Okay, you are an intellectual Neanderthal. Like a hundred years ago. So if they are demons, then C.S. Lewis points out the right attitude is know that they exist, be on guard. You know, they're trying to um, prey on souls, tear you down to hell and, and give you a bad eternity. And so we should know that. But we shouldn't be too curious about them. Why not? If these, if you consider these beings to be your, your enemies, then shouldn't you know thy enemy? Shouldn't we know what we're dealing with? And yeah, if see, here's the thing: if you get curious about, it, you'd realize, oh shit, they're not demons. The majority of them, yeah, there are some malevolent ones, and there are benevolent beings. Um, usually boils down the individual you can get a mix okay but these are physical entities people have been documented you know even the modern era you know but it, it, there's overwhelming evidence that proves that these are physical beings and you know all the legitimately Credible people who testified, you know, of thousands of people who say the contrary, and you pick out, cherry pick this one moron, and that's what you're basing your your argument on. <laughs> so it's kind of like bugs. I don't know. When you've got bugs in your house, you've got to be aware of that and take care of the problem and like keep them from coming in and kill the ones that are there. But you don't want to spend a lot of time with them. You know, you don't want to spend your... Depends on the type of bug. You know, if you get an infestation, you kind of want to do some research on the most effective way to get rid of them. You know, like bed bugs, for example. Bug spray won't work on them. You got to do is you got to turn the heat up in your place to like 100 degrees for like three days. And that's how you uh, kill bed bugs.
But uh, if you completely are incurious about them, then you're stuck with a really fucking nasty problem. Your whole day thinking about the bugs being around the bugs. You just want to get rid of them, okay? And that's how I feel about aliens who are really demons. No, the you're confusing. They're actually aliens. No, actually, they're they're non-terrestrial entities because the most effective way to insult one of them is to call them an alien. The Pentagon even admits. Boy, wasn't that a great clip? Make sure you subscribe here, ring that bell, subscribe to the mic. <laughs> I ain't subscribing to you, dude. No, thanks. Well, that was entertaining. <laughs> All right, I made my point. See you guys later.